So I would like to ask, where did you get the idea and how did you cast Mr. Mikish, who is, uh, who is kind of spot on as a priest? Well, this idea is not my idea, because uh, uh, that film is based on play uh, by Matematic. Uh, that play was from 1998, I think. But uh, uh, the drama, uh, uh, there is no, there, 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 were, there was no performance uh, uh, before this year, actually. And uh, I, uh, Matematici is, is my very good friend. And I knew about that drama a long time ago, and a few years ago I found out that it could be interesting for the film. Question uh, Mikic. Well, uh, I knew that Krishna Mikish had to be the priest before I started to write the screenplay, actually, because uh, he's, uh, he, uh, he was in witnesses, but it doesn't matter. He, uh, uh, he played, uh, sent, uh, uh, sent, uh, sent, uh, sent, uh, sent uh, Francis. And uh, one theater performance, and I really like that aspect, uh, figure of him. So it's, it it was actually a drama, and then you kind of transferred it into a comedy, which you know, kind of yeah. Uh, we were talking outside that you like all your movies to to catch it through the comedy part of the view, and uh, is that just like an optimistic view, or is it just that your your way? <laughs> Well, I don't think this film is very optimistic. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, no, that play uh, was not comedy, but it was drama. But there was a lot of humor this year. Uh, and uh, Matt and me, uh, uh, we used uh, those, uh, that humor this year and put it uh, in a comedy genre. But. Uh, our, not, our idea was not to make comedy as a comedy. Uh, uh, comedy is just a way to tell a story, uh, for me. Uh, that, that, that is with all my films. Uh, uh, I never make, won't make comedy because of comedy. Uh, comedy is just my way of thinking, uh, and it's, uh, that genre uh, is, e for me, easier way to tell some story. Thanks to that easier way to, to tell the story, uh, I've heard that a couple of countries bought the movie now and it's going to be distributed, for example, in Spain. But I heard that they're going to be dubbing the whole movie. So that is a, no. that, that's a very interesting uh, angle as well. Well, well that film is... Uh, has some, uh, something happened. That, that film has a, a little bit longer life than I thought. It, it, it will be because uh, Italy, Spain, Poland, uh, uh, Norway, uh, Denmark, uh, uh, Iceland, uh, and United States, the states bought their film for uh, theatrical distribution. Uh, what will happen? I don't know. Everyone, only one theater, nobody in, in the movie theater. But uh, uh, I'm interested again because it's the first time that. Uh, uh, one, one of my film, will, uh, somebody, somebody will make dubbing. And uh, I really want to see that film in Italian language or Spanish language. That would be interesting for me. Because Italian and Spanish language is a little bit aggressive, more aggressive than creation, and some intensity <laughs> could happen. Uh, Where was it shot? And did you affect all the people who live there? <laughs> First of all, congratulations, I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I'm uh, where it was shot in that white village. Where was it shot? Uh, well, first, I am from Shibanik. It's a little town on the Atlantic coast. And uh, when we tried to find, when we tried to find the location for the film, I was in every little town on the Atlantic coast uh, in Croatia. And finally, I found uh, on one island, Privic, uh, little town, Shepurine, and that island is uh, 10 minutes by boat from my hometown, but I have never been before there. And, uh, and we f when we found that, uh, uh, that was it. Uh, people from there, that was a hippie commune during the shooting, because it's a very small uh, town, 
and we, we, I really enjoyed the shooting there. Anybody else? Yes. Yes, I also wanted to congratulate you. I think it was a very good film. Thank you. I was wondering uh, why did you choose to uh, to film this uh, drama? Like, uh, do you have a specific message, or why did you want to convey exactly like this idea with the social comment? I don't know. During the distribution in Croatia, there was a lot of quarreling. Uh, Kept quarreling about that film. Catholic Church was uh, didn't like it. Uh, okay, didn't like, didn't like. but uh, but it's no question of that. I, I think because uh, we want to ask our, ourselves. I I want to ask our, uh, myself, what happened when men want to want to play God uh, and uh, catastrophe. <laughs> is always when every, any man start to play God. And from my point of view in Croatia, there is too many people who want to play God. Who play God. This is the reason why I shoot that film, shoot it that film. Okay, thank you. Very nice. <laughs> what is next? Do you have a next project or is something else? No? <laughs> you are tired from this one. <laughs> No, it's not a question about that, because I, I, it's my fifth film. Yeah. And uh, I have uh, between one and first and second and second, third, there are always three or four year, years. Uh, not because I'm a lazy guy, maybe I'm a lazy guy, yes, I am a lazy guy. But uh, I need time to see what is the most important thing I have to say in this moment in Croatia. And uh, I need time for that. I, uh, uh, I, I, I will listen to the people uh, in bars early in, very, very early in the morning. Uh, uh, I, I, I will read a, a newspaper. But I have to find what is uh, the most difficult problem uh, for me and for the people in Croatia. Uh, uh, that is uh, my way of thinking. I cannot say, oh, well, next year I will make a film about that. I, I don't work in that way. I have many more questions, but yeah, go on. <laughs> Thank you for the film, I really enjoyed it. Um, Thank you. Could you speak about if there are any particular filmmakers or films that had an influence on, on that particular film? My uh, influence on me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to say because, of course, uh, uh, <coughs> well, uh, Maybe uh, you're a better person to see influence on me than than, than myself than, than uh, me myself because it's it's uh, uh, for me it's very hard to analyze myself. Uh, of course, there is a lot of influence uh, Fellini, uh, for example, because he's a Mediterranean director. Uh, the guy on uh, uh, very high is some connection with Amarcord, probably. Uh, there is lots of influence. Mediterranean influence, influence, I don't know. It's very hard, for me it's very hard to say. How, how did that come up? Well, I, I, I need, a, for rural biscop, I need an actor who can act chief of mafia. <laughs> and Lazar Ritos is the best for that. <laughs> he, he, looks like, he looks like the chief of mafia. No, that, that's it. Yes. Uh, it was just a tip, really. There's, have you seen the English TV show or the British TV show, Father Ted? No, I didn't. Uh, buy it before you go home. Okay. Well, yeah, it's, 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 it's got a similarly irreverent take on the Catholic Church. It's, oh, um, I, I will enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> 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 no. in, in a very positive way. It's a great film. Very good. I know why I didn't see. I, I didn't see it because uh, Croatia didn't didn't buy it. Right, no, no, no. <laughs> it's it's yeah. Catholic Church. Uh, Catholic state. Just, uh, just out of curiosity, do you have any particular strong religious views, either way yourself, like or you know, do you embrace it at all? Or? Uh, well, uh, I made that film with Matematic. She's my. 
not good friend, he's my best friend. He's a, a play writer who, uh, who do the, the priest children as a drum. And uh, uh, we done a screenplay together. He's a really re uh, religion person. And I'm not, I'm agnostic. And I don't know, but in, in any subject, uh, in a, 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 we, we agree about everything. Doesn't matter because he is a religious person, I'm not. Uh, that, that, that's my answer. My final question, because it's very nice, it's all about independence okay. and all that, is uh, how difficult it was to kind of raise the money up from the idea, from the moment that you had kind of a green light until you realization. How long was the time? Was it difficult? Because I know in Serbia, Slovenia, Croatia, it's, it's not easy to, to do movies. And after this success, hopefully, some gates will open for you. So you mm -hmm. <laughs> an easier, not really. <laughs> I'm afraid that after that success, uh, all gates will be closed. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, no, I, I don't know. Uh, well, uh, in Croatia we have a system, Croatia Audiovisual Center uh, have, has a competition for projects, and the best project got some money. Not big money, but some money. Uh, that film uh, uh, passed competition, uh, uh, and it was first in, the, in that competition. But it was not enough. And uh, most of Croatian films uh, um, uh, 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 are made uh, with co-production with Croatian television. Well, Croatian te television refused uh, to be co co uh, to make co-production uh, with my producer, and so he put some, he found some money, he sold his car, and no, no really, it's no joke. <laughs> he really sold his car and uh, uh, put, uh, how to say, hypothek? Yeah, like a deposit. Yes, uh, on on his house. He took money and we shot a film. A big one. That's a good producer. Very brave producer. <laughs> no, he's re he's really brave. I'm not so brave because uh, he believed in that film. He believed that uh, that film will be uh, get very good release in the movie theater, and he will uh, take money back. And uh, fortunately, it happened. And it was okay. He is not on. He's out on the street, <laughs> poor, begging, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, one more big thank you for being compression. And if you're still standing, uh, please come back because for this year we have some amazing movies. We had. Uh,